been with the company for 25 years. Started in field service, traveling for our, our company, traveling around fixing equipment. Uh, transitioned into an engineering role uh, for our organization. Still stayed in the field for the next, well, I don't know, nine, ten years. Uh, came here into this facility as an engineering leader uh, for our aftermarket group. Uh, spent a few years there and then has, uh, transitioned into a product management role, product leadership role. Spent a number of years in that role and now I'm the field service director, uh, the director of field service for all of our service team members reporting up into North America. The trust between the, the service tech and, and the customer. Uh, of course it's very important to, uh, to have that trust built, built quickly and there's certain elements of trust. One is are you telling me the truth uh, and of course there's this competency, do I trust you to fix my equipment? It's, it's critical. Listening to our customers is, is absolutely critical. Uh, when we go on site and want to hear what they want from us, uh, from our products, we have to hear what they're asking for. You, know, you talk about active listening when the customer says, I want my machine to go faster, or I want my machine to not break down, or whatever. You can start asking uh, uh, more engaging questions, the active listening, and dig a little deeper into what, why do they want to go faster, or are there certain products they want to go faster on, or what, what, what does that mean? we're better at listening. Well, why are we better at listening? Because of the comm skills and the other things we're hearing about. If we have team members that are more, for, more fulfilled, that means they're more engaged and more energetic about what they're doing. Uh, building that trust with the customer. We talked about that competency element and the, uh, the consistency element and of course there's that honesty. Uh, well, the last one is compassion or care, the caring portion. Uh, and for us to show our customers that we care, or that we, uh, to build that trust, they have to see that we care about what, what their issue is. If it's a tech on site and they're down, the customer's down, like, I care, I'm trying, to, I'm doing what I can to help you get up and running again. We're, we're here, we care, and therefore the customers say, look, I'm, I'm trusting this person because they're technically competent, they care for what I want, um, and they, they're going to they're gonna be honest with me and tell me, tell me what, uh, tell me, they're going to give me the straight answer. So.